AI has taken the world by storm over the past couple months especially, and one of the recent developments is a community called Hugging Face, which basically it lets people share their AI models with the world, which I think is really cool. So today we're going to be working with Hugging Face, or one of its models, to connect to Python. So let's go over the agenda of today's video. First of all, I'll introduce what Hugging Face actually is, and image captioning, which is the model we're going to be working with today. Then we'll go over some use cases of image captioning and then get straight into the interactive demo in which first we'll get the model from Hugging Faces community and then make our predictions with Python. Alright, so first of all, what is Hugging Face? Hugging Face itself is a company, but it's made up of all the people that contribute their AI models to it, which makes it sort of a community of NLP model, and a, which makes it sort of a community of NLP models. Now, it also has a Python module called Transformers, which lets anyone have offline use to any Hugging Face model, which is great for us coders because we can use any sort of Hugging Face model that we want on Python whenever we want. There's also a bunch of different models being used by Hugging Face for many different purposes, like for example, BERT, GP2, and Roberta, just to name a few. Essentially, Hugging Face is a place that allows you to showcase your AI models and check out other people's AI models as well. The models they feature are pretty vast as well, and they're categorized. Like for example, here we have the multi-model section, and that has a bunch of different models. Obviously, inside of these categories, there's more models that people have submitted, but here it's categorized by like feature extraction, image to text, text to video, things like that. And then we have the computer vision category, natural language processing, and there's even other categories like audio, tabular, robotics, reinforcement learning, things like that. But for now, we're going to focus on the multi-model section, specifically the image to text, because that model is going to be what we're using to do image captioning. Now, for those of you that don't know what image captioning is, essentially it'll, our AI model will take in an image and then our robot or our AI model in this case, it's going to be coded in Python because we're connecting our hugging face model to Python. It's going to take that image and then it's going to put it through the model and then it should find all of the things inside of the image. For example, this image is a lake with tall trees and a mountain in the background. So that's what it should output with. Now, what are some use cases of image captioning? Well, first of all, we have image classification and content indexing. So if there's an image with a bunch of items or even multiple images with a bunch of items, then it's going to be pretty hard for humans to manually look through all the items and try to caption the image. That's where AI comes into play. These hugging face models can do them easily and it can do it a lot faster than humans, which is a great thing for a lot of industries. Obviously, you can use these image captioning services for regular things like social media captions or just for one off use. But these kind of models are especially useful in industries like, for example, insurance companies. Let's say a user has to submit an image of something that got damaged and they want to claim insurance for it. Now, an AI model could take a picture of, for example, let's say a living room was damaged or destroyed then an AI model can take the picture of the living room and describe all of the things inside of that living room very easily, much faster than a human can do it. So yeah, now that you guys know what hugging face is and image captioning, let's take it to the next level and work with hugging face in Python. Alright, so first of all, before we get into coding this program, I'm going to show you guys hugging face itself. If we go to the website, which is huggingface.co, you can see I already have an account here, I've already created one, but as you can see, you can make a new model, data set, or space. There's a bunch of things you can do with it. And what? whenever I first looked at the Hugging Face website, it actually kind of reminded me of GitHub in a way, except instead of sharing code, you're sharing models or data sets. So if we click models here, as you can see, there's a bunch of AI, AI and machine learning models for a bunch of different things. And then if we look on the left navigation bar here, you can see all of the different categories of models. Let's say we want to have an object detection model. Let's click that. And then as you can see, these are the most popular object detection models available on Hugging Face. But in this case, we're not looking for object detection. We're looking for image to text because that's what text because that's what captioning is, image captioning. So here in the multi-model section, I'm going to hit image to text. As you can see, there's a bunch of models to choose from, but I'm going to use the NLP Connect model 
because this is one, this is a model that uses GPT-2 for image captioning. And as you can see, there's a bunch of details about it. There's even some Python code, some of which we're going to be using today. So let me go to Visual Studio Code so that I can actually code our program. Now, if you remember what I said earlier, Hugging Face includes a module called Transformers. And basically what that does is it connects, it's kind of like an API to connect any sort of Hugging Face model to Python. So I'm going to import the Transformers model. All right, next we're going to import Torch and PIL so that we can actually create and work with the images. All right, now that we have all of our modules installed, the next thing we have to do is actually get our model from Transformers. So what I'm, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make three variables. One for the actual model that we're importing or getting from Hugging Face. Then we need a feature extractor. Basically, that feature extractor, all that it'll do is it'll take the image that we input and then it'll get all the features for captioning. And then after that, it should take those features and make a caption out of it. And finally, we're going to have we're going to need a tokenizer, which will actually get the captions. So first of all, let me get the model here. So I'm going to say vision encoder decoder model, which is something that we imported up here dot and then from pre trained. That means that Hugging Face includes a pre-trained model. And then here we would include whatever pre-trained model we're using. In this case, the pre-trained model we're using is the NLP Connect uh, VIT this thing. So we're going to copy it from here. It says copy model name to clipboard. Let's copy that. And then this is the model name. It's the VIT image captioning model, and it comes from NLP Connect. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go to Visual Studio Code and then paste that in. And then same thing for the feature extractor and tokenizer. So let's do that. All right, so now that we've made these three main variables here, we can use them to actually go through an image, find all the features and make a caption. So let's do that. First of all, we have to check our first of all, we have to input our model into our device. In this case, my device is my Mac. So we have to take our model that we've we have here and then we have to put it into the device so that our device can work with the model. So I'm going to say I'm going to make a device variable and then we're going to use our torch uh, module here to check the device. So I'm going to say torch device and then we're going to work with CUDA. All right. So basically what I've done here is I've checked our device here, which in this case is our laptop, and then we're adding our model into our device. Now, the last thing we have to do before actually predicting the captions or add a couple other parameters. I'll just paste them in here. That's just saying the max number of length and all that. So now I'm going to make this into a v so now I'm going to make our model or whenever it's so now I'm going to make our image captioning model into a function here so that we can call it whenever we want. So now I'm going to call our function here predict captions or let's just call it predict caption. And then for the parameter, we're going to need the image path so that we can actually work with it and get the caption of it. So now inside of this function, the first thing I'm going to do is make an images array. Then I'm going to go through however many images we have because we might have multiple, we might have multiple images and for each image, We want to open up the path and work with it. So I'm going to say for image path in and then uh, image paths. Let's make this plural because we might have multiple. And then I'm going to say image paths. So for every image path in all of the things we got, let's make a variable. Let's call it i image. And then here we're going to say image, which is PIL which is pillows library for image. And then we're going to open it up as an image. And then we're going to open up the image path. And then next. And then next, what we want to do is just so that we can work with this cleanly, we're going to convert all of them to RGB values. So I'm going to paste in this code. Basically, it's checking if it's not already RGB values, then we're going to convert it to RGB. And then now we can actually work with these. So I'm going to say images dot append. So we're going to add all of these RGB images to our images array here. So images dot append and then I underscore image. 
All right, now I'm gonna go out of that for loop and I'm gonna paste in some code, but basically what it's going to do now is this pixel values variable, it's going to use our feature extractor, which we um, initialized up here, and that'll get all the features from all the images and then return it. And then finally, it's going to get the output IDs, which will get the words basically, the words basically for all of the images, for all the features that it gets inside of our image. Then finally, the last thing we need to do is I'm going to make a variable called preds for prediction. And then I'm going to say tokenizer, which we'll get, which we've initialized up here as well. So I'm going to say tokenizer dot batch and then decode. And then that'll decode all the IDs into words. And then here we want to decode the output IDs, output IDs. And then we're going to say skip special tokens to be true because we want to skip if there's anything else special tokens just so that it runs smoothly equals true and then I'm gonna finally update it so that it's a final caption and now what we're gonna do is since this is in a uh, function whenever we call the function it should return something in this case preds is our output um, caption so I'm just gonna say return preds but let's also print it out just so that we can see it you know so I'm gonna print out preds or you know what we can print out like a uh, final caption is and then preds okay and then we'll return it and then finally the last thing we have to do is actually run this function so let's do that predict caption and then now we're gonna need an image to get the caption of and then here we would add the image so first of all so you're going to need to have an image in your file structure and then inside of that you would add the image path. All right, so I've downloaded three images from Google. So now let's test out the first one. The first one is just an old picture of me and my family. So let's test this out. Okay, so I've called it family.jpg. So let's put that in .jpg. Oh, okay. Take out the extra dot. All right. So now we can run this. So now all so now we've wrote the whole program, which should get the model from hugging face. And then we're, we've created the function here, which will actually take the model, use it to generate the caption and print it out. So now let's test it out. So I'm going to go to terminal here. And obviously, you're going to need to pip install all of your modules. But just so that all of our modules are organized, let's make a virtual environment. So I'm going to say Python 3 minus M V E N V and then we'll call our virtual environment env and then i'll say source env slash bin slash activate i've made a virtual environment a bunch of times in my previous videos but it's different for each um, operating system so now we can pip install all of our modules all right so now the last thing we need to do is actually run our program so i'm going to say python 3 and then caption.py and then now it should run and show us the caption of some sort of people, I guess. So it's going to take a little bit of time because it has to download the model into my computer. But yeah, it says a man and a woman posing for a picture. I guess that's pretty accurate. And then we have another picture of a house. So let's test that out. Obviously, we have to change it in the code here. Uh, let's house.jpg. And then let's save it and run it again. And then now it should say something along the lines of a living room with furniture. Yeah, okay, it says a living room filled with furniture and a large window. Let's go back to the thing. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. And obviously this is just one model, but there's a bunch more that are even more accurate than this. We've successfully made a... We've successfully connected it to Hugging Face. And obviously that wasn't that accurate because it was just one of the many models in Hugging Face's community. But yeah, we've successfully connected Hugging Face's community to Python. So that was connecting one of Hugging Face's many models to Python, specifically image captioning. Now, I'm really enjoying making AI-related videos because I believe that AI is going to be the future. So stay tuned for more. Thanks very much for watching. If you all had any doubts, please comment down below. I'd love to help you out if you're stuck with any Python Hugging Face questions or issues. Please like, subscribe, all that jazz. Until then, you can learn anything.